I am prepared to die uh, October 8th if, if, if that is what this has to be done to win, you know. I'm going to test him, you know. I'm going to test his character. I'm going to test his heart, his skill, his power. I'm going to test him, you know. I'm going to test his will to win. Over him is just an absolute monster. Oh my God, that is not human, that physique. Muscles on top of muscles. No one does it. Mike Mata hurry. Overy keeps coming forward like a juggernaut. Don't even count it, Rip. Come on. Buddy said, I promise you will not last three minutes with me. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Alistair knocks out another opponent inside one round. That was then. This is now. But a hurry sends Ubering to the canvas. That was just violence. These men do not like each other. The fight the world has been waiting for. Two heavyweights once again collide. It's time for glory. Expect the worst. Prepare for the worst. Don't expect an uh, easy evening. I mean, it's a legend, very talented fighter. We had the pleasure of uh, training shortly together. Very technical, very talented. I'm actually expecting the best bowler because this is hit or miss for him. Uh, I think his ego, he wants to win really bad. So I'm expecting the best bowler. Mm -hmm. It's not going to be an easy walk in the park. So it's not going to be easy walk in the park, but can you tell him what you're going to do to him on the 8th of October? Well, it's Don't, don't tell me, tell him. We're not... I don't have to look at him. I mean, there's respect. I don't have to challenge him. I, don't, I think it's a little bit immature to talk uh, light. Uh, no, I'm, I'm, and I'm not the type to kick a man when he's down. You know, he's had a rough patch. We all have seen that. Uh, I'm myself, I'm coming from a loss. So we don't have to, uh, you know, he's in the do or die situation, but I see that myself as well. Uh, we're in the winters of our career, right? We're a little bit at the end. I'm a little bit more to the end than, than bother, but maybe not, I don't know. But uh, yeah, we at the end, I think Rico as well, so that makes it interesting, right? It's like the triangle. Um, no, but I expect a very focused brother, very, and brother can be dangerous, let's not forget. Uh, I think in my last fights I was too defensive. And uh, this is not who I am from nature. Uh, I think my best defense was always my offense. So uh, I am now there. I found it. I found the aggression. I find uh, the way to pressure my sparring partners again. I really hurt them. I'm sorry, but <laughs> I really do. So uh, I think everything falls uh, in the right place. And about Alistair, you know, I, I know him for a long time. He's strong. But we all know uh, how he handles uh, fighters who pressure him so uh, with that said i think that's uh, what will be needed uh, october 8th i feel like i'm coming home right we're coming in uh, netherlands that was actually what motivated me uh, glory went up to pierre uh, owner of glory and uh, yeah we're gonna make it a nice welcome home party for you basically right for me that was big motivation the fighting for home fans um you know living in the u.s 10 years but i don't know netherlands is home and, um, yeah, initially it was Rico. Rico was the target, but he's doing a movie or something. I don't know. So, yeah, Bada really wanted. It was not uh, a fight I would push for. But, uh, yeah, I'm also, you know, I'm a competitor. I'm not going to stand down. Good. And same for you. What do you expect is going to be different with Bada this time around compared mm. to last time? Last time we fought? He's in he's in do or die uh, situation now, so he'll 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 be maybe ten percent more than last time we fought. That's more dangerous than thing. Uh, absolutely. Fight with Alistair, uh, it's one of my uh, highlights in my career. You know, it was a legendary fight. Uh, I know the feeling that I had. You know, he came into into the K1 and he was like, I think I think I think Remy is here, so he's one of the guys who was with us in in in, in that time. I think he really surprised us. You know, he was uh, he came from out from MMA, and 
we thought, yeah, okay, he's not a really good kickboxer, so I think we can handle him. And he came, he came in strong, he dominated, and he surprised us, you know. I think this was, uh, this was what we all were not expecting, expecting of him. So the second fight, when he came, uh, yeah, we, we, know, we know what he could do. So we were, I, I was really prepared, and I gave him a promise. He still knows the promise. Everybody knows the promise. And uh, I did what I did, but that fight, yeah, it was, it was, it was a, a classic fight. You know, I think everybody was very happy in inside of the kickbox world. Um, still living in the states, but my future is not there. I'm not gonna grow old in the states. So I'm coming home, and then you can see there's other fighters there, right? Uh, Rico and kind of being the big guy, and of course, I don't know. That's a little bit my nature. Challenge the big guy. Now this fight is there first. But the uh, is also a big name. But it's basically coming home. You're talking about motivation. Um, when I'm 42 years old, I'm starting the second half of my life. Uh, but we will finish the first half excellently to start the second half excellently. That's my big motivation. Life is not only about victory, you know. Life is not only about victory. You know, you, you got defeats, you got losses, you got wins. You got sickness, you got wealth, you got bankruptcy, you got all kinds of things in life, you know. But it's how you recover, it's how you go forward. This is what makes you a fighter, you know. And for me, you know, I'm gonna roll it until the wheels fall off, you know. I feel strong, I feel determined, I feel hungry, and I still really enjoy my, my, my sports, you know. I go to the gym with a lot of happiness, a lot of, you know, I just feel very great inside of inside of my doyo, and I like to, I, I enjoy it. So it's easy. It's not. It's not even a question. It's, it's my life. It's who I am, and uh, you know, every fight is a, is a chapter, and the book is not. I'm, I'm not even thinking about quitting. You know, I, I heard Elsa talk about it, but, not in my book. I, I'm a completely different person, completely. Right, the last ten years, a uh, lot has happened. Right, the whole America thing, UFC. Uh, strike force, all that stuff. Completely different. Are it? Same question? Uh, you know, I think a fighter stays a fighter, you know, so uh, <laughs> it has nothing to do with how you, what, what happened in your life. Did you have children? Did you not have children? Did you get separated, divorced? It doesn't, it doesn't, <laughs> it doesn't matter, you know. You're still there. There's another guy at the end of the ring who wants to hurt you. You want to do the same. So nothing changed. You, you're still a fighter, you know. The first time you get punched or you punch somebody, it's all forgotten and you go into battle mode, you know, so I don't know about him, but for me, no, man. The press conference between you two, you promised us that Alistair will make it through the first, first round. Can you promise it again? Maybe you can make him this promise, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you know, every fight is different, every press conference is different, you know. This is the first one, so let's uh, build up this... Uh, this tension. We'll see if this promise is uh, doable uh, in time. I think there will be a following press conference. So uh, just wait and see.